Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my humble house, my casa, my hacienda on the windy, wet, flooded hills of Livingston, Montana. Okay, today's date is the 18th of June of 2022. Now, what can I do to keep you folks from clicking out of here? Let me see. Maybe I can tell you about, you know, when I first lost my virginity. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't get twisted up and all screwed up in the head because I tried to make a stupid little joke here. Now, actually, what this video is, ladies and gentlemen, is just an update about what's been going on around here in Paradise Valley, Livingston, Montana, etc., etc., considering that we had a natural disaster happen in the last few days, days meaning flooding, mudslides, flooding, houses washing into the Yellowstone River, bridges being destroyed, uh, roadways being washed away, uh, uh, ranch lands being flooded, livestock at risk, uh, people having to be evacuated with uh, helicopters, air support, and whatnot have you. Let's see what else has went on. All those fun kind of things just because the... I'm going to tell you what happened, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I know I said the date. Let me say it again for my weak mind here. It's the 18th of June, and it was like four days ago, four or five days ago, we had a warming trend, and we definitely, the mountains had to have warmed up upstairs. You know what I'm talking about, eight, nine, ten thousand 9, 10,000 feet where all the snowpack is and everything. Well, that snowpack up in those Absorkies and gallons and all around here decided to cut loose, melt, run downhill all at the same time. And it created a disaster, especially out here in Paradise Valley. Now, let me tell you this. I don't want to make any big loud mouth statements because I have not went out to the flooded areas around here and that because the authorities want us locals if we're not filling sandbags, we're not get, lending a hand and whatnot have you, we're supposed to stay the furk out of the way, you know. And besides that, here a few nights ago, I busted me a couple of ribs on this right side here. I'll get on that rib thing here in a minute, but believe you me, I haven't been in any position, I haven't been in any frame of mind or whatever have you to do a whole lot of anything. I've never had a set of busted ribs before, but believe you me, it is painful, very painful. I've had other broken limbs and other things that's went wrong with me, etc., etc., but never ever any cracked or broken limbs. But anyway, getting on to this, this situation, this, this uh, snowpack that come thundering out of the mountains and everything, let me just put it to you this way, ladies and gentlemen. I couldn't get out there for, because of my ribs, for one thing, but it wouldn't have done me any good anyway. I mean, what's the point in taking a bunch of footage, capturing a bunch of uh, muddy water roaring down the river with a bunch of logs and stumps and all that stuff. Besides that, I've recorded that river many, many times. Low tide, high tide, you name it, I photographed that river. I've got, well, on my channel, I've got well over 400, um, excuse me, 900 and some odd movie files. So, you know, there you are with all that. Okay, now, basically, we got affected from Gardner, that's right, we're the north entrance to the, that's the Teddy Roosevelt entrance to Yellowstone National Park. Okay, from Gardner all the way south to Livingston here, you know, and then clear to Billings. This, and I just named off, what, 225, 250 miles of river? Well, a lot of people don't understand about that Yellowstone River. The Yellowstone River contains flows, that's a better word, flows for over 600 miles and doesn't have a dam on it. It is it is the premier number one free-flowing river in the world. It's just that simple. So when something like this, we're all of us locals are plenty aware of spring runoff from the mountains and everything, but this here was a really freaky 
event of nature, if you will, because generally speaking, you know, we have high water and we've got muddy water and, and trees and stumps, you know, flooding down the river and stuff like that, but it's never as bad as what we just went through. Now, I know for a fact that that river got up around 30,000 cubic feet a second. That That's that is a great, mighty flow. It's like the sheriff of Park County said here, the river was very, very angry. And that's a fact, you know. But I can tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, there's been millions and millions, if not billions, of dollars worth of damage and, and, and property being rearranged, homes lost, etc., etc. And I'm not going to get real specific and start saying, oh yeah, up this creek and, uh, you know, we got a lot of damage here and this place fell in and all that. I don't need no liability, you know. I mean, people that lost their outbuildings, barns, uh, homes along the river and like that, they're, they're in enough pain and sorrow without me adding to it, you know. But I, I can tell you this much, ladies and gentlemen, that cleanup has be, began, you know, how... I know that they're going to spend the rest of summer cleaning up. Let me just put it to you this way. And I do believe that the park's back open again. And I do believe that US 89 going to the park is open again. But you're going to have to check on that for yourself. Don't take my word for it, you know. Now, let me see where we at here. Six minutes or something. Okay, I got to get it. Now, you take like me. I've had a few people write to me. Want to know if I was safe and the wife and I were safe and everything? Okay, I live on the northwest corner of Livingston, Montana, and I figure by sight, I'm just spitballing here. In other words, I'm just guessing. But by line of sight, I figure I'm approximately 200 to 300 feet above the floodplain. The water in the yellow, the raging water of the Yellowstone River got nowhere near where Penny and I live. As a matter of fact, we're probably only like maybe a half a mile from the city limits, a quarter of a mile or something, north, north, northwest corner of Livingston, Montana. So I sit up on these hills, this 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 framework of hills, if you will, small hills, and my I've showed you this on my channel many times. And right off the, my porch, you're looking right straight down the mouth of Paradise Valley. I got one of those mountain type views, if you will. Okay. Now, I left out anything. It's a mess up here, okay? Let me just put it to you that way. And I'm getting on to what I want to say about my ribs. Never had any busted ribs before. No, I did not go to the hospital. I, I know doggone well all they do is just tape you up. So it's just something I've had to live with. It's been very, very painful. And how this happened is a couple of nights ago, don't ask me why. I don't know what the deal was. But I, I must have, I know I wasn't having a nightmare or anything like that. I know I was dreaming, though. I was sleeping along in my bed right over here. And for some reason, I flipped around in the bed, did something, you know, flip flopping, you know, like an old carp or a fish or something. I'm flip flopping away on the edge of the bed. And somehow or the other, I rolled off the bed and rolled into the corner of a hardwood dresser. I fell out of bed and smacked this this right rib cage right up against a, uh, the corner of a dresser, like this guy right here. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that hurts. Right there, if you can see the corner of this guy right here, this, this big TV stand. In other words, I plowed my rib cage right into that. No, it's not that, but it's over on over by my bed over there, so I don't want to move this camera and all that because I hurt too bad. So I just thought I'd make this file real quick and let everybody know I'm still alive and cleanup is going on here at Livingston and and I and I hurt, you know. So you know, uh, I was gonna say you know send me a bottle of laudanum, but I figure I better not do that. Okay, what do I got here? Nine and a half minutes. Nobody will watch this. Oh, by the way. Sign up for the program. Give me the finger. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Yell at me. Love me. Kiss me. You know, what else do I got here? Oh, I got uh, notices of the upgrades and the windows and all that crazy crap. And, you know, and yeah, and ring it, you know, do the bell thing and all that kind of stuff. You know, sign up for the program. 
Uh, and, and, and I usually answer most comments, so ladies and gentlemen, I got to get out of here. Thank you very much, and adios, my friends.